What's going on guys? It's OmniArc and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be giving you my review, thoughts, and opinions of Matilda in Rise of Kingdoms. I could not have predicted what Lilith did with Matilda of Flanders. She's an epic commander, which I did not expect. I also expected her to be a wood gathering legendary. She is a stone gathering epic which is weird uh she's got an amazing crown that thing looks super regal she's obviously a baller so let's go over matilda but first we gotta look at something incredibly important all right and excuse me while i look around my my uh my mic here let me pull up this screenshot all right i apologize for the crude crude uh, quality of this but you can see um down here this screenshot i took uh it was a picture of my computer monitor um on the 29th uh 109 p.m that's eastern time um i took a picture of the golden chess rewards and i didn't have the foresight to like scroll down or anything like that but uh, you could see that the odds here let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can can see this a little better um the odds of getting a legendary commander out of the gold chest is a little over half percent epic commanders are like two percent elite commanders at four percent these are you know these are really low odds okay and one of the things that they actually did with this update and uh i'm just gonna kind of like overlap my my different screens here but one of the things that they did is they actually changed the probability of these chest rewards now i didn't take a picture of the silver key one because i just didn't really like you know it, i didn't, it didn't come to me right um so look you could see that the odds of getting a legendary commander went from point uh 0.86 or i'm sorry 0 0.586 and then over here it went up to 0.786 so a pretty big jump actually i know it's still less than one percent but it's still a significant jump uh from one to the other you could see the same thing with the epic commanders went up by about what is it like 0.4 percent or something like that um and guys this actually this adds up over time right and so my understanding is that this is the probability for a single one of the four items that drops down um so if you multiply that times four per chest like this is a pretty big um probability upgrade so if you guys have been hoarding gold keys um then congratulations you you have a way higher chance of getting legendaries and legendary commander sculptures now i don't want to go over every single one of these percentages but you can pause the video this is what it was before the update and this is what it is after the update now you also can scroll down again i didn't get a picture of the, like a screenshot of this um but lilith really did uh increase the probability of legendaries and epics um I don't really need the epic so it doesn't matter to me but it do this does help all of you new players out there who are still working on expertising those epics now um i actually did not go ahead and save any gold keys for this update i know a lot of people were saying to a lot of people were doing that and i didn't want to and the reason why is because i thought matilda was going to be a legendary commander and so in my in my head i thought well the only thing that i really want out of the gold keys is charles martel and matilda's probably going to be a gathering commander which i was right about that and so i thought you know if they throw another gatherer into this legendary commander probability that's just gonna theoretically make it harder to get charles martel which you know is is technically true and uh yeah i i guess you know i was wrong i should have saved the keys because now the probability is higher and they didn't add a legendary into that mix so I should have saved the gold keys congratulations if you did um but i did use all of them so in this video let me open this free chest uh now this the silver keys do contain matilda of flanders as well and let me just go back really quick to these rewards um oh it looks like it saved where i was cool uh matilda of flanders is in gold she gold keys gold cheese gold keys as a commander as a epic commander she also has her sculptures there and then if you look at the silver keys um i don't know if the probability changed here uh that would be cool but yeah you can get heads from her in here as well so um i don't have any gold keys to open to get her so we're not going to be leveling her up in the video but i will note that i did uh pop into gecko gaming's video he already expertised her he posted about it this morning he was able to convert his universals into matilda of flanders which is amazing however it that does not show up as an option here right so it looks like at the time of recording this video um you can convert your epic universals into matilda of flanders even though the game does not show that that as an option so let me show you what i'm talking about here if we go up to somebody like ulji you go to his skills you can, it'll show you here that you can exchange universals for this commander and then you click go and it gives you that option for matilda the game doesn't actually show that as an option so i don't know if it's just a bug 
that you can actually do that or if they just forgot to add that as a uh, like an origin here um i'm not sure but if you guys have a ton of epic commander uh, epic universal sculptures definitely 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 make sure you expertise her right away because um they could patch this if this is you know if they want players to only get her from tavern and expedition they're gonna make it so you can't convert those universals just like they did with kiera so um yeah that that's one thing i want to note um you know make sure if you have enough sculptures expertise her right now today in case that that is actually a, a little glitch or a bug or whatever and, and they patch that forgive me guys it's early in the morning i gotta drink my coffee no omni arc mug today but we got the santa monica mug i got this on the beach i wanted to go back to la so bad for my birthday it's in like two weeks i wanted to go to la like i did last year but man this this damn coronavirus anyway matilda of flanders is a british commander and that is really interesting because that means that this is the first civilization to ever have two epic commanders. If you go in here, Britain already has a Boudicca. Uh, and so I was thinking, how does that affect which civilization you pick, right? Because every other civilization in the game only has one epic commander. Now Britain has two. And I thought it'd be interesting if they gave you the choice to start with either Boudicca or with Matilda um but as you'll see in just a minute I don't think Matilda is actually a very good commander um she's she's excellent at what she does but she only does one thing so anyway let's talk about her skills okay let's jump into that um she's obviously a gathering commander the defense and integration trees aren't gonna matter because her skills aren't that great and um you're gonna just be using her strictly for gathering so you're not gonna take her probably past level 40 um because that's really all you need to get pretty much everything that you would want in the gathering tree all right so her first skill is called daughter of flanders active skill rage requirement of a thousand deal direct damage to a single target damage factor of 750 and reduce their attack by 15% for two seconds. This is a terrible active skill. This is garbage. Her active skill is a worse version of Ulji's active skill. And I thought Ulji's active skill was bad, right? It's a 15% attack reduction. Ulji gives you a 30% defense reduction for the same amount of time with the same damage factor. Like what? That's complete trash. Okay. So if you're leveling her up, just completely skip this first skill. You're never going to need this. It's never going to be useful. And the animation doesn't even look that cool. The second skill is called clever heart. And it says troops led by this commander gain a 25% increased stone gathering speed and 20% increased food and wood gathering speed. So what does this mean? She gains no bonus gathering to, to gold at all. This is really underwhelming. Uh, I don't really understand. This is like, this is essentially like the same thing as the uh, elite commanders, right? Um, if you look at the second skill on Joan of Arc, she gets 25% for all, all gathering, all gathering speed, just 25% and 25% extra load. She's the same rarity as Matilda and Matilda only gets 25% for one of the resource types and the others are only 20 percent and there's nothing here for gold like i can't scroll or anything so i don't know why this would be the case but she's her second skill like don't get me wrong right gathering sp stone at 25 percent extra speed is great especially if you guys don't have like a uh a cleopatra who's got like five five one one or whatever but like just comparing her to joan who's the other epic gatherer this is this is underwhelming this is not that great her third skill siege units led by this commander gain 10 uh, i'm sorry 30 percent increased health and increased defense that's a nice solid buff for siege but you're not going to be fighting with her so it doesn't really matter her fourth skill wise ruler troops led by this commander gain 15 percent increased troop capacity but lose 20 percent attack so I'm trying to think here like this is going to make it so that way she can bring home a ton of resources from the alliance plot because you're going to be able to just send so many troops with her especially if you can uh, combine her with cleopatra who has the increased uh, troop load right that's going to be massive where is that on here sorry her third skill yeah 50 percent increased load and then on top of that getting 15 percent more troops in there so 15 percent more siege that's crazy um so that's really cool unfortunately it just it's not it doesn't really change much and then her expertise says this commander gives an additional 10 percent resources upon completion of gathering this is the best part about matilda right here and the reason for that is because there's only two other commanders in the game who have this extra 10 percent resource so literally matilda is going to be a goddess at gathering from the alliance node and that's really what you're going to only use her for honestly um honestly you'll probably pair her with cleopatra 
for stone and then if it if it's not stone you're probably gonna pair her with uh somebody like uh what's her name constance you'll probably do a constance primary or something i don't know i guess it doesn't really matter this is an underwhelming commander as far as skill goes and even as far as epics go like like look at what she does right okay she her second skill is basically a slightly better version of the elite commanders so that's the blue commanders it's slightly better by five percent right her active skill trash her third skill is i don't know maybe there's going to be some random way to abuse this massive amount of stats maybe i don't know uh and then her fourth skill is cool but like let's just look at joan of arc again okay i can't help but compare the two joan of arc is a god tier epic commander she's in insanely good active skill her other skills are useful as well and she gathers much faster than matilda and uh it's it applies to gold and she gets 25 percent more load like they they what joan of arc is is proof that you can make a gathering commander that has other really good uses and what they did with matilda is instead they made um just a an average gatherer and for some reason it's an epic commander and has really no other use i don't know okay i'm pretty underwhelmed by matilda um i would have rather just seen her as a legendary and just like bump these numbers up by like 10 percent and then it would have just made sense i guess i don't know but regardless um let me just say because i've been relatively negative at the uh, up until this point uh, i'm happy that they added another epic that you can use the universals on her and let's keep in mind 25 percent extra stone gathering speed like this is just you just get 25 percent more gathering speed for stone right and 20 percent for the other two so this is lilith just giving players more gathering speed and that's really what it's going to do and so what that means is resources are going to be easier over time so if they continue to add gathering commanders gathering speed is going to go up and up and up which means we're going to be able to get resources for free faster so adding gathering commanders is not a bad thing and i actually am happy to see another gatherer because at the end of the day like i ran out of resources in this kvk right i did um i still have like some resource items in here or whatever but as far as like gold i'm pretty much out of gold until i use those like pick ones right let's see let's open this silver key let's see if we get any of her we got nothing we got garbage great thanks silver keys i appreciate that you do that to me every day so again a free new way to gather significantly faster is good right this is good i'm not complaining about that i'm just saying that compared to you know relatively speaking she's underwhelming just like objectively right just they could have made her better and they didn't so what this does though is and i, I think they're going to keep doing this i think they're going to keep releasing uh gathering commanders hopefully at least one more um i want gathering to be much faster and the reason for this is because resource sellers dude i've been getting so many dms in this game of people trying to sell me resources it's super annoying these resource farming bots are just crazy annoying and so if they make it easier to get resources for free then maybe less people will will entertain these bots and then maybe there will be few of them fewer of them or the alternative could happen where the more gathering commanders they put in the game the more the faster the bots can farm and so there's gonna be more i don't know dude i'm not sure i'm just theory crafting at this point uh but that at the end of the day we got a new epic you can use your universals on her right now that may change based on this screen alone i would say as soon as you get her level her to 10 bring her to two stars and then start putting skills on her hopefully you'll get this this second skill to five and then i would bring her all the way up to four stars um and you're gonna get her to level 40 for the uh just to flesh out the gathering tree but yeah i don't know i was hoping for something cooler but it, it is what it is anyway guys that's all i have for you today those are my thoughts and opinions on matilda and the change in the probability of the keys my kind of theory as to why they added another gatherer i think it's good for the game unless it's going to increase the number of bots i don't know anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video hopefully you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really does help out my channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video as always if you made it all the way this far hopefully you'll drop a comment as well letting me know what you think of matilda what do you think about them changing the gold key odds i think that's a really amazing change they may have changed the silver key too i didn't take a screenshot of that but leave your thoughts and opinions 
opinions and comments in the comments section below the links to all my social media accounts are in the description below as well so make sure you follow me over there on instagram and twitter discord and twitch where i live stream rise of kingdoms at least once every single week and finally there is a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc or your mac it's a program called blue stack it's my favorite way to play the game and like i said it's free you'll experience less crashes than you would on like an older phone so go ahead and give it a shot it's link in the description with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace